Welcome to my channel. I'm Danny Walker. Thanks for clicking on this episode. We're going to be talking about Miss Universe 2021 preliminaries. If you'd like to see content like this, then please consider subscribing and hitting the notifications bell so you know when new episodes come out. And if you really want to support the channel, you guys can check out my merch store as well. What an exciting year for Miss Universe. <laughs> I am thrilled to talk about this. So first I'm gonna talk about the contestants. I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite for the swimsuit competition and for the gown competition. As far as we know, there's going to be a top 16. So I made a really hard choice and I decided to share with you a top 16. Although I'll tell you, I'm not completely confident in all of this because we don't know what happened in that interview room and we don't know exactly what MUO is thinking and who they're really interested in. So first we'll talk performances, then we'll talk all the extras of the show. In no particular order, I'm gonna share with you guys my swim favorites first. France, she has so much presence. I am so excited for her. Guys, she made it, she made it out of quarantine. <sighs> we were so worried about her. Wow, so this is exactly what I was talking about. I think that her walk has improved even from her national pageant. Don't believe me? Go watch the recap that I did of it, okay? And this is what I'm saying. In her national competition, she's that contestant that I described that she's kind of effortlessly getting past each round of competition. She keeps moving on, she keeps advancing. She's not the person in the room that's screaming the loudest, like, look at me, that's not her. But I will say this performance, she was on. There was no stress. She didn't look tired, probably because she's been in a room and it can be really, really exhausting during competition, guys. It's like by the time you get to prelims, you're just like, okay, is it over yet? And, and I, I, that's one thing that makes me sad. I wish there was a rest day in the schedule the day before prelims, but there's not. It's rehearsals, things are running, things are going. That's what it is, it's challenging. They wanna see who's up for the challenge. This performance reminds me of her national performance, but even better. And I see her just easing her way through every single level of competition. Just, oh, I'm obsessed. The hair, the makeup, the styling, everything. Everything. USA, so gorgeous. The walk, the facials. I am so thrilled with this performance because so many people doubted Elle and I felt confident about her because she was coming right off of Miss USA. There was no downtime and all she had to do was carry over her performance from USA and change it slightly for the staging and I think that she just did that. Also imagine if she does win. The new Miss USA was supposed to move to LA but if she wins Miss Universe, she actually moves to New York. Imagine thinking, okay, I'm going, I would be moving to LA and then suddenly opposite side of the country. Now I'm in New York, you win Miss Universe. She wouldn't even get to experience being Miss USA. That would be so strange. Just, it's instant Miss Universe. Bolivia, when she walked out, all I was thinking about was this is already such a tough competition and we're only in the Bs. And she followed Belgium and that was not easy to do. And I feel like when you follow another strong contestant, sometimes it can affect your own score because judges are already still thinking about the previous contestant a little bit. And you don't wanna compare contestants. Unfortunately, for me when I watch, I kind of feel like there's this drop in energy in the room and I'll be honest, it kind of does affect the score. I know you're not supposed to compare contestants, but the performances, when they end up very opposite, it can affect things and Bolivia kept it going. She kept the energy up. She was gorgeous. I love the routine. I love the poses. I love her. India, the face, I knew it. I knew it. So many of you guys were mad because she hasn't been featured in some of my other videos, but what you guys don't understand, I think, but what so many of you are forgetting is that I personally separate my favorites from all of my videos. So even if somebody is my favorite, if I am not feeling their headshot, for example, then they won't make it in the headshot episode. I don't like to put people in my episodes just because they're a favorite. I just like to recognize everybody that I think did well in whatever area of competition. That was my note on that. This was great. I wish she would have slowed down just a little bit for swim. I think that she's gonna be able to do that during finals, but she is so gorgeous. I love her. If you guys saw any of her national pageant, I'm sad that I couldn't recap the finals. I couldn't find the video of that for you guys. But if you guys watch her at that pageant, I mean, just to stand out on stage. 
Aruba seems so sweet. She's gorgeous. I love her. I like her energy. It was a really, really great performance for swim. And I know that, that it's a really tough year and there's a lot of strong countries, but I think that her performance deserves a good score. I would give it to her. I think that she was fabulous. Puerto Rico, she knows how to work that wrap or that cover up, whatever you want to call it. And she is confident. What I really like about all of her performances right now is that she's just feeling herself. You can feel it. The crowd loves her and she's just feeding off of that. And I like that energy. Brazil was real cute. At first I was like, okay, what's going on here? But then when she had that little smile down the runway at the judges, I was like, she is having so much fun. Like she truly looked like she was enjoying herself. For me, that wins some really big points. I think that it's a quality that can make you very likable on stage. Namibia is stunning stunning if you can have short hair and pull it off and still be gorgeous i feel like that takes you to a whole other level of of beauty i couldn't imagine myself with short hair it just it would not be the look for me i'm sorry i i need the hair i need it and she doesn't she is so so stunning and i really do wish that they would have given her a better final moment shot it's, it's hard to capture everything and I get that and things have to move fast and everybody has to have the same amount of time on stage, but I wish she would have had a little bit more. Colombia, before she even got to the stairs, you could feel her presence, even though she was far away and I am thousands of miles away and she's on the other side of the world. I could feel her through that camera. That's presence. That's what that is. That was commanding a room and she did that and also her eyes are so beautiful there's they're like a disney princess vietnam gorgeous i felt like she looked even better than i expected i liked the performance i thought it was really fun it wasn't over rehearsed and she felt comfortable on stage belgium i knew it i knew it i had a feeling she was giving us so much face the moment that she stepped on stage the walk was wonderful. Everything about it, I loved. I really am hoping that she's gonna be in a top five. The moment I saw this, I was like, this is swim, I cannot wait for a gown. Argentina, what a great surprise. This year, I don't think that there was that much hype around Miss Universe, so I personally didn't even have time to go and research and look up every contestant's walk and see more about their national competition. I feel like if I had, I would have had Argentina on the radar. Keep in mind that they did place last year. So I think that when you prepare one contestant well, it kind of helps to give you momentum for the next year, whether you win, lose, or draw. She has such an old Hollywood glam style. Her look is very different. And I'm, I'm kind of like, I wonder how MUO is gonna process that because to me, she was unlike anyone else. But if I were scoring her, I don't care. I love her. Paraguay. Do I really need to say more? That entrance, you guys should already know. Yeah, should already know. Mexico is so gorgeous, gorgeous. I really loved the last pose that she did for the swimsuit competition. And when she dropped the wrap, for me, it was a moment. Spain, this face, this face on stage. Honestly though, she does have really strong features, which is great and it's amazing. So for finals, I think she could even do uh, lighter makeup. I think she's so beautiful. I don't think that she needs all of it for on stage. I think her features pop enough. So I'd like to see her in something just a little lighter, keep it fresh. Thailand wore her hair down for the swimsuit competition. And as a note, Philippines wore her hair up. So I was just thinking, did they have Philippines put her hair up because they assumed Thailand was gonna wear her hair down? I really hope that that was not the determining factor for that. But anyways, Thailand was beautiful. This is another very, very fresh face contestant. I love that about her. She has great messaging. I She's been featured in almost every video that IMG puts out all over their social media. So I feel like she has a spot. Now I'm gonna mention some other contestants really quickly because they're right on the edge for me and it was really hard to figure out, okay, who am I putting in my top 16? But I think these other contestants, if they have a great interview, they can easily bump somebody from the top 16 for swim. So I have Chile, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Equatorial New Guinea, Finland, Guatemala, Canada, Great Britain, Haiti, Italy, Jamaica, Japan, Laos, Mauritius, Nepal, Nigeria, Panama, Peru, Philippines, Portugal, Singapore, South Africa, the Bahamas, and Venezuela. I know, that's a lot. 
but that's how much I love these contestants. Gown, can I just say that overall, first of all, we had some really great gowns this year and great gown performances. It's been a long time since I've seen this many fabulous styles and this many well-dressed contestants, so well done teams. Bolivia had a really unique soft pink gown style and I liked it, it was different. She carried it really well. She had a little trip, but she recovered very well and her final pose nailed that. And if you notice, Chesley was clapping for her when she tripped and it's like, yeah, exactly. It's not a big deal if you trip, it's just how you recover. India, I'm so happy to see India in just a simple sequence gown. Honestly, if you have a great performance, that's kind of all you need at Miss Universe. I really like the bottom too. It looked like there were some palette sequins on there, lots of texture going on, really pretty. Great color on her but beyond the gown itself it was the performance and that final gaze that was top five for me that was top five instantly Philippines for me did well and honestly when I looked at this performance from the audience view I like the performance more which I feel sometimes is way more realistic than what we're seeing on the telecast I was surprised by the gown and the styling I thought that they were gonna put her hair down I was hoping that her hair would go down or maybe in an, an elegant bun for evening gown but I personally don't understand the styling choice with the hair I loved her hair down at her national competition when it was straight, oh, the jawline, it was just, can we see that for finals please? Argentina, once again, gorgeous, love the gown and the last look that she did, that's what sent it over the top for me. France, lovely again. I think the left arm was swinging a little bit much, so I was at first distracted by that. She did tone it down later in the walk, so that's just something I would be aware of, but wow. Wow, she looked red carpet chic. Spain can deliver face. I am sorry that I did not recognize her even more in other episodes. She deserves it and that back pose, she has to go to finals, she has to. I need to see what she brings. Aruba seems like such a sweetheart. I just, I just get good feelings when I see her on stage. I just love her so much. Also, beautiful gown on her. It was perfect. I love the hairstyling for this shoe. I thought it really worked for her. It was well done. Thailand. This gown was simple, but I personally loved it. I'm biased because I do love simple gowns. I really feel beautiful in them. I don't often wear things that are covered in sequins, uh, but I really liked it. I think that her walk actually improved from the national competition. I know that a lot of people have been really harsh when it comes to walk. We all have things to work on. So I was excited to see that for her. The hair pulled back was beautiful and honestly, the, even the flow of this fabric was great and I can't wait to see what they put her in for finals. If you are a pageant contestant and you need some help working on your personal brand in the interview or you're trying to figure out what in the world a personal brand even is, then check out Rehearsed to Relatable. It's linked in the description below and it can help you prepare for your next competition. Namibia, this gown, perfection. The high neck on her long neck, it, really brings everything up to her face too. It, ugh, everything, she carried this so well, so well. And they really gave her a nice zoom, a nice close up at the end, finally, she deserves it. Vietnam, I feel like many people are gonna say that this is styled in a similar way to Miss Venezuela 2018, that beautiful gown that she wore. And what I would say to that is that that gown was inspired by a Bob Mackie creation that Cher wore to an award show. So I think Cher was the originator of that. But this gown, and once again, having fun on stage, just, I just felt like she was living in the moment. It makes me love her. Paraguay, unexpected gown. I personally wasn't thrilled by it, but she carried it really well. And she had this nice little spin turn that she threw in there. I would have preferred to see her hair down, but I get it because her face is so gorgeous. I understand that choice. I just wish she hadn't done the little extra chiffon flick at the end, but she can change stuff for finals and I'd be really curious to see if she does. Colombia, this was her moment. That rhinestone gown and that yellow chiffon train that was attached to it. I can only imagine how this looked in person, even more. The stuff does not come across on camera as it does on stage. It just has a whole other effect. And I, I bet it was beautiful. The performance, perfect. USA. Elle was in such a beautiful, gorgeous, Michael Cinco couture gown straight off the runway. Wow, okay, so it was really unique. It had 
green beading on it and I feel like that probably complemented her light eyes up close if we were to see that it was very well done I really wonder what the gown change is going to be for finals but you guys I feel like she killed this I feel like USA is in the top five I don't want to just say that but she nailed it Puerto Rico that side look in the opening it was so well done, so well done. I would like to see a gown change for finals for her. I feel like they would do a gown change like they did last year, so I'm really excited to see that. Uh, I would also like to see an adjustment of the hair. I kind of felt like half of the hair was sort of losing its volume and then the bottom was really big, so I'd just like to see it a little bit more even. That's me being nitpicky, but the performance though is really what we should focus on, and that's what matters the most, and she killed that. Belgium. The gown was too big on the bust. It needs to be taken in literally just right here. This this measurement, bam, there is an alterations department at Universe and there may be somebody from her team that can help out. If they plan on wearing that dress for finals, that's what I would like to see happen to it. If not though, it's okay. I know sometimes we don't have other options and that's fine. It was still a gorgeous gown on her and the styling, perfect. They nailed it. South Africa. We have seen a similar gown style that was worn in Venezuela and then in 2015 at Miss USA by the second runner-up gorgeous gown style. This dress was so beautiful on her. It was so elegant and the hair up all of it. All of it made sense and she really carried this with so much elegance and grace and poise and it's clear to see how being a ballerina is helping with that. Here's my long list of contestants that are also very much on the edge here. So Chile, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Equatorial New Guinea, Great Britain, Haiti, Italy, Jamaica, Japan, Laos, Mexico, Nepal, Nigeria, Panama, Chile, Peru, Portugal, Singapore, the Bahamas, um, Venezuela. And I know that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. But I also just wanna mention them. I wanna say, I love you. Love, I loved your gown performance. These ladies really brought it in the same way that I felt that they brought it to Miss USA this year when I was watching this. And, and it's gonna be a really harsh top 16 cut and there's gonna be shocks and there's gonna be countries that we can't believe aren't in there or countries that you're shocked aren't in there in the top 16. So guys, it's gonna be, kind of tough when that moment comes but let's still be supportive of all of our contestants and if your favorite doesn't make it in then find somebody else to cheer for and support you know that's why we're here now i want to talk about a couple other things during the show i know that a lot of people were very concerned at first when they saw this massive tent being built and for a second i was like ah. but then i thought just because of my background in pageant production and theater and staging. I was like, but you know what though? If you build your own venue, then you can really build an entirely unique stage and you'll actually have more options than you would in a venue. And there's, there's more that you can do with it. And I will say in recent years, I think that this for the IMG era is one of the best stages that we've seen. I personally really love the Thailand one. I was there in person, so it was very, it was grand. And if you guys wanna see some more of that, you can watch my Miss Universe vlog from that year and you can see kind of how it looked from the audience perspective. And that was beautiful, but I loved it. I really, really loved it. I really enjoyed this year's staging and lighting production, everything. For the swimsuits too, I wanna say, I really like that we get the mix of swimsuits for all the contestants. For years, I always, th I, I wear a lot of one-piece swimsuits. I'm a huge fan of them. I feel confident in them, I feel great. I also wear high-waisted ones. So I like that we got to see the two pieces, the high-waisted and then the one-piece swimsuits because at the end of the day, it should be about making contestants feel their best. And I think it's great if we're providing options that are gonna allow them to do so. So I thought that it was so cool to see so many different styles. I think each contestant just looked beautiful and it was very complimentary. The one thing I really don't get though, is the shoes the shoes looked like it's something you'd wear maybe in the fall possibly for an for an interview i did not understand the shoes and i know it's from a shoe sponsor and a line but weren't there other styles that, that would have better suited swimsuit i was just so so confused and on also the, the shade of the color there wasn't uh it, obviously the the color of the shoe didn't suit most of the contestants skin tone so i was like hmm 
was not loving the shoes this year. Really enjoyed this show. I thought it was beautiful. Can't wait to see finals. I know that there's gonna be a lot of surprises and letdowns and all sorts of things, but let's just be supportive of the contestants. That was a lot, guys. That was a lot, but thank you so much for sticking it out. I appreciate your support. We are almost at 85,000 subscribers, which is insane because of you, because you share the channel, and I appreciate you so much. I am going to get to bed right now because I gotta be ready for this wedding tomorrow, but thank you for joining me for this. I appreciate you coming back week after week to join me for the channel. Let me know what else you want to see next, and of course, I will be recapping the final, so stay tuned for that.